everybody, it's the War Hipster here coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial and today we are painting the first Legion. Yes, the Dark Angels. We are once again in the Age of Darkness with a Horus Heresy painting tutorial and today we are painting the first. Now they are black in the time of the Age of Darkness and they have some little red accents here and there and the occasional black and white checkerboard and we're going to be doing all of that today. But first place to start is on all of the armor and the color we're going to be using first is Black Legion. Now we're doing this over the top of Grey Seer Primer and what we're just going to do is we're just going to load up our brush here and we're going to start painting this Black Legion all over all of our Marine's armor. Just like this. Now we just want to get this all over so don't worry too much about kind of like inconsistencies. Just want to slap it on there, get it nice and dark. Just like this. The only places we're going to ignore uh, this arm, this area, and the harness. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some of the new reformulated Nuln oil and we're going to paint, paint this over the top of all of the black armor panels. This might not seem like it's going to do very much, but it is just going to darken down the black armor just that little bit more, as you can see, like that. We're going to avoid any of the soft details. We want those to be a different, slightly different tone of black. So for now, we just want to get this all over. Just like that. So with that done, you should have some beautifully dark black armor all the way around your dark angel. Looks awesome. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna move on and we're gonna take some Blood Angels Red. I'm gonna use this to paint in some of those remaining areas that we haven't painted. So for example, this assembly just up here at the top here, we're going to paint in with the Blood Angels Red. Like that. And we're also going to paint in the harness. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some of the new shade Mortarian Grime. We're going to use this over the top of that gauntlet that we haven't done yet. And this because we want this to be a nice off-white. So with that Mortarian Grime now applied, what we're going to do is we're going to add a little checkerboard effect. And this is appears quite often on the Heresy Dark Angels. Now you don't have to do this, you could just leave it that colour and just have him as part of one of the wings that likes to do that. But what we're going to do is we're going to add that checkerboard. So we're going to take some Black Legion and the first thing we're going to do is we're basically just going to draw out the sections. using these straight lines. Like that. 
and then we're going to go across the other direction like so then what we do is we basically just alternate blocking them in so we're just going to start down here with the black eight black legion we're going to go here then we're going to go here and so on and so forth this all the way up the arm so with that now done what we're going to do is we're going to move on and we're going to use some garagax sewer and we're going to use this to paint in the leather And with that done, we are then going to once again use some Black Legion and we're going to use this to paint in the bolt casing. So with that done, just whilst we're waiting for that to dry, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Mantis Warriors Green. I'm going to use this to paint in our little cables stashed around the model. So there's one there. And there's one there. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some thinned down iron warriors and we're going to use this to paint in all of the remaining details. So we've got all of our silver bits on the gun and on the bayonet and on the backpack as well. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some of the new reformulated null oil once again. I'm going to apply this over the top of all of our silver. And so with that done, what we're then going to do is we're going to take a tiny amount of Mephiston Red. And we're going to apply this over the top. Of our eye lenses, just like that. So with that done, our Dark Angel is now what I would call a War Hipster battle ready. So what we're going to do now is we're going to highlight him. And the first colour we're going to be using for this is Dawnstone. We're going to be using this over the top of all of the black armour. You just want to very carefully start picking out all of the edges.
just like this. So with that Dawnstone applied to all of our black details, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some thin down administratum grey. We're going to apply this to the sharpest points around our space marine. So for example, any corners. Like that sort of thing. So with that done, all of our black details are now finished. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Evil Sun Scarlet. I'm going to use this to highlight all of our red. So with that Evil Sun Scarlet applied, we then take some Fire Dragon Bright. I'm going to add this to the corners of our red details. Like that. And then we're also on the eye lenses. Going to add a little highlight that goes around the bottom edge. Just like that. And so with that done, we've just got one last thing to do, which is to highlight all of our silver using some thinned down iron breaker. And so here we have it. The first Legion have fallen onto the channel. <laughs> this is a really, really fun scheme to do. It's always, always fun to kind of capture the retro Dark Angels in their black armor before they added the green. Well, some of them are adding the green right now, but here they are then, the Loyalists. Or are they the traitors? I don't know. It's very, very confusing, but not really. These are Loyalists. Loyalist Dark Angels. Really, really cool scheme. Those little accents of red really make it pop and, well, just a lot, lot, of, lot of fun. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you want to support me further like these legends and bosses on the screen before you, you can do so. Head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster or head to ko-fi.com forward slash warhipster. Alternatively, you can now become a YouTube channel member by heading to the channel page and clicking on the join button just here, exactly like these awesome folks have done. And if you just want to shoot me a little thanks just because you really love this video, you can click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.